Awesome. Welcome, guys. We're just doing a quick, guys and gals, um, we're doing a quick live stream. If you want to join me on this, the meeting room, um, our live broadcast meeting room will be right here. So live broadcast, broadcast. I'm just going to put this into the notes. Uh, meeting room. And then for those who um, need this, right, this is just part of our system. Um, part of the, the, the offer that we give just as free is we give meeting room, right? This is meeting room in a sense. And again, what meeting room does. So let me um, share this really quick to our live perception hackers. So perception hackers. And I'll just say open discussion, open discussion. It's spelled wrong. Discussion, and then we can dive right in. YouTube will be right here. Meeting room. Meeting room details. Let me grab this so that way anyone can share. All righty, let's remove that one. All righty, so we have that. Let me close this guy right here. Let me jump in to that description. Let me copy this guy right here. Alrighty, let's just make sure that this guy is open. Perfect. So now we should have this live, okay? And then I'll tag that person over. They, there's a specific individual that wanted to talk with me. Um, so let me see really quick. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna say would love to collaborate. It's making business as we're on this live. Okay. Let's go always, always, always. Um let me jump in. Let me add these in. We might I put up my so I have my netting, I have everything behind me. But um, if my netting falls because of the wind, <laughs> ah, then it falls because of the wind. It, it just might. The wind's starting to pick up. So let me, let me do one thing before we start this. Let me anchor this thing down so that I make sure that we are good to go. Give me just a moment. And I'll be jumping into sharing our screen and getting things started. Okay. So let me do that. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you your next featured speaker. He hails from Dallas, Texas. He is a man who we have a Dallas, Texas resident here. Welcome, sir. Two of them, okay. Your next speaker is a man who not only professes the greatness of individuals, but has experienced the concept of greatness. He was number one in a sales force of over 3,000 salespeople. He was also number two in a sales force of over 7,000 salespeople. He's a man who has worked very hard for the beliefs and convictions he possesses. I'm delighted to say that he is the author 
of the very successful and popular book, See You at the Top, which is now in its ninth printing and has sold over 143,000 copies in its brief existence. I'm also delighted to say that this book and the philosophy behind this book is now being taught to the young people in the schools throughout America in many communities. Zig Ziglar, ladies and gentlemen, is making an impact. A great man who believes that it's your aptitude, not just your attitude, that always determines your ultimate altitude. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in welcoming my friend and yours, Mr. Zig Ziglar. All righty, we are back. So that video for anyone who doesn't know, this is Zig Ziglar. He was speaking on how to get anything that you want. If you want that, just jump onto our YouTube and you'll be able to see that specific video. Okay, so now let's dive in really quick. Let me make sure that there's a person that had some questions and I just wanna make sure that they're in the discussion with us. So let's do this and just say, feel free to join the Okay, so that is that. And let me do this one right here. So this way, anybody who wants to, everyone. Okay, there we go. So this way, anybody who wants to join, they can join us within this um, session. So everything should be good. Looks like we are good there. So we're gonna dive into our screen really quick. So for those who don't know me, let me introduce you to myself. So my name is Cameron Garlic. I have a, a past of designing uh, large systems, large companies. And what I, what I focus on mostly is the, the process in which they function. That is my focus, the process in which things function. Okay, and we're gonna be going over that um, within the system. So if people don't come in for the live discussion, then I just continue. I'm just gonna continue with our, our processor piece. So that way we have a, a processor overview of how to basically connect your business, if you want, to AI, to the chat GTP, okay? How to make it so it actually works, okay? So let me go into process. All righty, let's go into here. I'll just share my screen really quick. So that way we can get things started. And I have, okay, I have multiple cameras. So let's let's see what we got. So you have this one, right? It'll switch. So it should switch sides, maybe, maybe not. Um, here we go. This way you get a, a clearer picture of it if it's working. So let me come right here. Okay. Either way, I'm just going to dive in. So that way we have it. If you're having issues seeing this, just let me know in the chats. Let me know in the chats and um, that way we can dive a little bit deeper. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our business folder. Okay, this is our business folder. We're going to go into our modules. Within our modules, we're going to go to our data processors. This is something that maybe we went over in the past that you should probably do. You should probably organize however your data is stored. Just organize it. It'll, it'll help you a ton. Okay, and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be focusing in on our processors. Okay, so we have our master processors here um, with our master processors. So let's just jump over that, kind of what it is. Okay, let's make sure this, we're going through some information on this just to make sure it matches. So we'll kind of do the same thing, make sure it matches. Everything is just designed to match, okay. Boom, boom, and then what font is this? This is an eight font, okay. So let's go the same exact thing. So that way everything just matches, okay. Add eight font, perfect, perfect. Okay, and again, just to recap, if you didn't see me build this thing, I'm just going to recap it really quick, kind of what it is. Okay, so let me let me pull back my screen really quick. 
Okay, you should see me. You should see my blinds behind me. Yes, no, yes, no. Let me just make sure it's good. See, this is where I'm really at. If we want to put on a, a, a screen, then you can see my screen. So we're in the, the back patio. Okay, we have our shade blinds on so that way we can work. Okay, um, let me switch over to my face so you can I can get you more specific. Okay. Alrighty, and I'll just switch it one more time. Um, perfect. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering again on this. So let me stop sharing for just a moment. It automatically switched. That's kind of cool. Um, but basically what we're going to be doing on this is our data processor. This data processor is responsible for all the information that is incoming. This will help you with marketing. This will help you with um, keeping track of your customers. This will help you with organization. This will help you with all aspects of a business if you want a business. You can also apply this specific thing to as you're an individual, meaning your family, right? Your family, your friends, your contacts, like the, the networks that you might have, you can apply this thing to, to all of them. So that way you're actually utilizing the system for something a bit more than just the typical, um, like, hey, I, I have data, right? We wanna go a little bit deeper than that. We wanna make it so it actually works. So let me, again, I'll pull up a schematic really quick, but I wanna show my face for that. Um, so let's dive back in. Okay, I'm getting bunches of messages. I won't touch them yet. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So now that we're in here, okay, we're in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this, so this is, we're in a master process. Okay, we need to, if we're in our master processes, we want a blueprint in here. So let's create a blueprint. This way, as we're organizing schematics, SOPs, any of those things, we have specific blueprints done. Okay, and this one will be our master processor. Our master processor, and it'll be overview. And I'm gonna copy what we already have because I've we've already went there and did this. So let's let's copy this. So we have these performance. Um, let me just double check. Here we go. This was the exact one that we built. Okay, so that way we have an exact profile in here. Okay, this is the exact one that we built, and I'm gonna go over this and explain it a little bit to you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me just, let me actually move this guy. Okay, so we're gonna move this folder. Uh, no, we'll pick a folder. Okay, so we're in business. Once we're in business, we go to there, we go to our modules, and then we go to our data processors, and then we're gonna push it right in here. So this is the one, this is the place that we're gonna push it, okay? So I'm gonna push it right there, okay, select. Okay, so to zoom in on this thing, what we're doing is this. So we're building out structured processes based off of our prospects. And we, we could even do it one more. We could say um, raw data. Okay. So we have raw data. We have our prospects, our leads, our locations, our users, and our contacts. Okay, so this, and we could even say instead of raw data, we'll just put database. Database. Database is better because right, then we can start organizing databases just raw, right? So now we can do it like this, okay? So we have, let's say this is our database. I'm gonna show you how to connect everything too. So we have our database, right? So this is our, our um, professional, or sorry, our profile processor. It creates different profiles for us, okay? So what will end up happening is within this, right, this entire processor, this entire, this information. So think of it like this. You have your data. This is all of the scraped data. So this is, this is just uploaded data. This next one is in a sense, clean data. Okay, clean data. This is like raw data. This is like, the, we. I mean, you can call it dirty data, raw data, whatever the case it is, right? We'll call this one clean data, your prospects. Your leads are your interested data. 
Okay. Interested data. Now these ones are your client data. Right? These are the clients in a sense that you come in. These are your users. So this would be of course your user data. Meaning this is their employees. This is the people that are coming in. This is in a sense, all of the, the yeah. So it actually might go instead of locations first, it might be users first. So let's, let's actually build, make sure this thing is built as a user side. So that way the users then go deep and then that deep connects them to a location. That makes more sense. Okay, so let's get this guy closer, make sure that these are all matching. Um, there we go. There we go, and there we go. Okay, location data from those locations. So these two, both the users can have contacts, but the locations can have contacts too. So let's, sorry, I'm gonna remix that up. I had it correct the right way the first time, okay. Location data, this is the data that is inputted into your system. From there, your users. So a user could, you could have just one user per location. That makes sense. So the location would come first, then the user, and then the contacts. Store all of this data, all of this, right? Make sure you put it in your privacy policies as well. Okay, so if you're storing this data, you need a few things in your privacy policy. You need to let people know. So let's say this is your, your legal. This is in legal, and then within legal, you have your privacy policy. So you can say privacy policy. Okay. You need to let people know that their information is being stored here in your privacy policy. You need to have it a few ways. You need to have them agree upon it when they sign up, and you need to have it as a cookie banner or a banner in a sense. You need to have it, I'll just say, match all policies. So this way you don't get sued in the future. You need to make sure that this is covered. Your legality sides are covered, okay? Um, I'm just gonna put these on the side so that way you have a reference point of this, okay? Here's your reference point. Now again, you have your, this one is your client data or your business data. This would be, your, I'll just put business data business data. These users, in a sense, are your clients. So you can have, like, one of your main clients can have multiple users, but in a sense, these users are your clients. So they're client data. Okay, and the contact, this is their data. So you just say contact, contact data. Okay. So this is the idea of that, okay? You have your database, you have your prospect data, okay? Okay. All of these things can then can connect backwards. They can all connect to the database. But you could think of it that way first before comp making it complex. So what this would mean is your scraping systems that you might have. So let's say you have a scraping system. To get data, your scraping systems, are pushing it in, right? Your prospects usually will come in, this data will come in from anyone who's setting appointment or a lead is generated. So like, or a contact or something is generated. So this even could be, um, you've completed the entire profile. So we'll just say a complete profile. What I mean by that, okay, let me kind of get you through a process so you understand the process behind it. Um, you have scraped data, right? So let's say you have a database. Well, this database, you need specific things in order to contact that specific user. So let's, let's take a look, right? Okay, we have our prospects. So what specific things do you need to have this fulfill? Well, you need to know kind of when that lead or that person or that data point came in, right? You need to know their name. You need to know the owners of that. So you can I mean, it says owner, we can just put phone, it doesn't matter, right? But you need to know the of that data point, what's their phone number? What's their email? If you can get their WhatsApp, if they have a WhatsApp, what's their WhatsApp? What's their Facebook profile? What's their Instagram profile? Their Twitter profile, their LinkedIn profile, their Twitter or their YouTube, their Pinterest, their Google My Business, if they have a Google My Business, their TikTok profile, 
right? They're Snapchat, Tumblr, they're Reddit, okay? All of these different things. Why? Because you can send them a direct message. That's why. You have a point of reference to market them. That's why, okay? This next step is going to be almost identical. So if we take a look here, it's almost identical. So that means we can, technically we can copy this and now they're a lead, okay? A lead is somebody who has interest, okay? So now you can put in what they're interest in. So their interest, interests, okay? Not interested, but their interest, meaning do they have interest in um, social media management? Do they have interest in a, a specific service? Or maybe it's not even a service. Maybe it's something that they can buy, right? You can say what they're interested in. Okay, that's one of the things that you'll you'll need. Okay, from there, let me just make sure. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. I don't want to merge things. I want them to be all of the same. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that we have that, so you need, again, they're a lead now. You need a way to contact them, but not only contact them, you need to know what they're actually interested in. So you need to know what they're interested in. Okay, I'm going to put this to the left. And you need to know what their source is. So this is very important. So that way you know exactly where that thing came from. Okay, now this is a lead. What else do we need to know? Right, we need to know what they're interested in. We also need to know, have they been contacted? Okay, we need to know that. We also need to know, what is their DND? We have to know these things, okay? We have to know, okay, their interest, right? Their source, right? What they're interested in, their DND, so we even know to contact them, right? Then have they been contacted, right? So those are the different things that we need. And then you could put a scale if you wanted. So you could put a buying skill. Buying, I'll just put buying skill. If you want, this is the the rate. Let's say it's one through ten. So let's let's just do a one through ten. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do data validation. Did I do it right? Add role. This looks so different. Yep. Okay. There we go. So now it's what is it? Is it are they a one? Are they a two? Are they a three? Are they a four? Are they a five? Are they a six? Right. Are they a seven? Go down. Eight, nine, right? Where are they at? Ten. Do something like that. So now you know what they are. So if they're a, if they're a ten, you can now mark a campaign based off of that. Right? If they're a one, think of this as their certainty level in which they're buying from you. It is a lead that is generating over. Okay. I'm gonna actually do a zero as well. So data validation. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more, add another one, and I'm going to put a zero, meaning if it's a zero, it really hasn't done anything yet. Okay. There you go. Now, now you have something to start with. So now I can say this person has a zero, right? They haven't been talked to but we have all of their information. Okay, now you can make steps. So a step would be, like let's say this is a step, right? And you can say, is this data approved? Okay, so you can say, um, you can say data status, data status. So that way you know the status. And then data approved. Pretty simple, right? Like there's nothing too complex on here. So let me again reline these things. So what this means is what's the data status? Hey, it's a, it's new data. It's, all the profiles aren't there yet, okay? Is the data approved yet? No, yes, no, yes, no, right? Then you take them to the next step. The next step is, okay, what type of lead are they at? Okay, now this step you can get a little bit deeper, okay? So if you know, right, you could jump in here. Let's let's actually add one more. Here, name, because if it's a prospect, we need to know their industry. 
industry. And then if there's a category within that industry. Okay. So now we, we know kind of an, an idea of this. And then what we can do is we can say, um, we could probably put an interest right here. So this would be like an audit report. So you can put audit. Was the, the data audited, meaning did you find the right stuff? And then you could put one more and you could say interest. Okay. Just copy this guy, add it over to our leads. Okay. I'll just say, where did we, let me just check where we added it. Name, industry, okay, so after name, okay, now we're starting to get into business, so let's go to the left. Name, industry. Go to the left again, category. Source, then we did an audit, I believe. Category, audit, interest, yep. Audit. Oops. And if you take a look, all we're doing is building out the data that we want. Like you don't have to build it out the exact same way that I do, right? Audit, and then we'll double check this guy, interest, source to the right, source, okay. And I'll go to the left again and I'll just say business name. So that way we can start getting certain people from certain businesses, okay? And then I'll do the same thing over here, name to the left. I'll just say business name. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this name actually, and I'm going to put the name close to the DND, right? So that way I'm organizing the business first. Jumping back here, okay. This guy right here, we're gonna move this guy all the way down over to the, um, where did we put it on this right here? D&D &D contacted, okay. And then source, right? Source, interest, name, D&D. &D. Source to the right, if we can find it, interest, Name, D and D. Okay. Let me just make sure this has everything. I'm not missing anything, right? Industry, I think I can just delete this guy. Okay, so that's probably good enough data to start with. Okay, and then what we can do, let's just click one more and we'll just grab this guy over here and we'll just call this one our database. So this is our database, okay? So we have a database. We don't know what information's here. The information will grow here. We don't know what's there. Maybe their name, we don't, we don't know. Maybe we're scraping data, we don't know. As we run the process and import stuff, that's when these things come in, right? So if we start with business data, then we start with business data, okay? But let me, let me dive, dive back just a second. So we're here, right? So, now we have to build out a system. So if we take a look right here, this was our profile processor. So our profile processor, okay, it is the thing that kind of connects all of these guys together. So how it would work, okay, is like this. You have your database. This is the data that you scraped to get. This is the, the data that you purchased. This is the data, whatever whatever that might be, okay? Then what you're gonna do, again, you have to clean it. You have to clean that data. Once you're cleaning that data, a good way to clean it is to use chat GPT, right? To clean some of your data, as well as other things. You can run it through an email cleaning system if you have emails. You can run it through an email warming system. So you have an email that's being warmed in preparation to email these people, right? And you can have a system that now learns based on the data that's provided. This way you have enough data to push that in and eventually get them over to paid. So you, you begin like organic, cold outreach. 
you reach those things. So they start seeing it, right? The goal is how many times can you see it, okay? From that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, okay, here, let me share. I'll stop, there we go, there we go. Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, okay, cool. Like we have that data, that data is cleaning. We need to start reaching these people because you could spend a billion years on this thing and it's not, it's, nothing's happening. You, you need something that is, is kind of running and it starts organizing so this way you can reach, right? So again, if you're, if you're scraping data, you need to cleanse your data. So now how does your cleansing work, right? Like, let's go through it. You have your, how are you contacting them? You have your verification. So let's say you have an email validation system. Email validation system, right? Let's say you have an SMS validation system. And I know this, this looks complex, but it's really, it's not that bad. Okay, the, the complexity will come into is when you put this data in. And what I recommend is you just start at one place. Don't start the whole world and go crazy with this thing. Start at one place, one place, that's it. Focus on one thing and we'll, we'll go over kind of that one thing, okay. So let's say we have our profile. So we have our database here. So let's, let's just start, right? Let's start, okay. So. This one, we know that there's going to be columns, and then we know we can put those columns places, okay? So let's kind of start on a few things. So let's jump into a, let me jump into a, I'll just jump into Dallas. I have anything for Dallas right now. I have restaurant data for Dallas. I have a bunch of data for Dallas. Let me just jump into Texas. Texas. Okay, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for all of the data. So we have master sheets from LinkedIn, consumer. Okay, here we go. We have a bunch of different businesses. This is business emails from the US. Um, I just, again, I just, I'm going to show you Dallas, Texas, or just Texas of how we, how we launched that guy. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me just jump back into... A generic email, let's jump back into here. It might need to validate me. Yep, there's my validation, let me click it. Try to secure everything, right? Okay. You guys can't see my screen, so let me share my screen. Okay, so what we're looking for right now is we're looking for Texas. Okay, so Texas, I'm just going to search that guy. Okay, so we have a ton of data, if you can take a look. A ton of different data, okay? Multiple different aspects of data, okay? Um, now the question is, okay, well, what do we want to focus on specifically? Do we want to focus on restaurants first? Do we want to focus on a specific industry, right? So again, you're looking at here, right? Your prospect, so your goal is to achieve this. So you have your business name, you need that, your industry name, okay? So you need these things. So let's go after some restaurants. Let's, let's take a look and see some restaurants, okay? So I don't know if this will restrict me, but um, here, I'll do, I'll do actually Texas first. And then from Texas, we'll go, we'll do a few things. So let me download this guy. It is very big. So this is 1.2 gigs of data right now just in Texas, okay, 1.2 gigs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna post this 1.2 gigs into here. See, I don't know the, the, what's needed. I don't know what's needed at all. So I'm just gonna post it and show you how to organize the information. And then we're gonna slowly organize the information into our main um, system, our main database, right? We're gonna slowly organize it into that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly organize it into like it'll go into our database, then it goes into our systems. And then we have cleaning systems that are running. We have reach out systems that are running. We have these things because again, we're not an army, right? So if you can get the setup one time, then you can begin the cold call yourself. If you're not that big 
person yet. You can you can begin the cold call or you can have your team start doing the cold call, right? Or the cold outreach. You can start doing that, but you have to have some data. You have to have something to work with. And you don't have to go this route. There's so many routes. Like you could technically go into um, your Facebook groups and reach into your Facebook groups. That's one of them. What I like to do is I like to just build one system. The system works, it's running, and then I go to the next system, right? So if this is one system, it's all about the data scraping and data uploading. After that piece, then what I want to do is I want to go into the Facebook groups or I want to go somewhere else, wherever I'm, I'm out reaching. And now you have to think about it like knocking doors. You have to get a ton of people, but you have to have a true value behind what you're doing, okay? So it's kind of a, a mix of, of both. Okay, so let me dive back into this and then we can get deeper. Okay, and I'm just going to, while I'm here, I'm going to check my just YouTube really quick to just make sure that there's no comments in the YouTube section. Okay, so we have this guy. All right. Seems to be live, so everything seems to be up and running. I didn't see any questions. I have an ASAP. Okay. People saying they need me ASAP. Cool. Um, but yeah, let, let's let's do some data here. So we, we should have had this thing downloaded. So now let's copy this. Um, this the, the Facebook or something might kick me. Um, I don't know. It might kick me because I'm I have data. And if I have data, um, sometimes they don't like that you share data, if that makes sense. Like if you if you have it just because it can be a breach of some things. But that's if you're doing a live differently, I'm doing a live on, on YouTube. So, Ooh, that was scary. Okay. <laughs> Something just is my whiteboard. So just, it just um, landed. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I am downloading a file. This file was 1.6 gigs and now I'm opening that file. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to post it. Right. Okay. So if I have this guy, I'm just going to get this and I'm going to post it. Okay, and then if this is raw data, right, within the database itself, I have to be able to clean that data to get it over to a prospect. Okay, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to find systems that help me clean data. So one of those systems that I use is Hexomatic. So Hexomatic is a software solution that helps clean and helps grab data. Okay, so I'm going to utilize this guy. Oops. And then the next one I'm going to probably be using is maybe Captain Data. And Data. Um, possibly this guy too. And again, you can use Pablo, you can use Zapier, you can use just straight chat GTP. You can use kind of any of them. Okay. These ones I like because uh, we have a million um, interactions. So I have a million prospects in a sense that I can go through and clean. That's, that's in a sense what I have, okay? Hexamatic, we can create our own system, right? And it's based off of time, it's kind of cool. So let's, I'll kind of show you. So let's just start with this one, okay? So we're gonna be putting in data, okay? We're gonna say it's going to be a, we can upload a file, we can upload a CSV file. Let's upload that same CSV file, Texas. I don't want to download Texas. I want to, here, let me just do in the downloads. Let's just do Texas. Big file. Albany, Mexico, Texas. Within downloads, Texas. Oh, let's see why it's not coming. Texas two. There's Texas too. So this is the one that I'm going to be uploading. Okay, max file is that. So I'm, I actually have to break this thing down. So I have to break this thing down a little bit. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do it like this. Um, I'm going to do it where I just create a new workflow. Okay, and I'll just do it from, let me see if I can just do it from scratch. 
This is great. Let's see. Ready to use automations, define leads. Let's do that. Um, we can crawl websites. So if we're adding that data, we can crawl some websites to make sure we have it. Um, one of the things that we need is we need their Google My Business, right? So we need a, a little bit of information on here. So we're going to say, we're going to call their Google Maps, okay? And then this keyword we're going to be putting in. So let me, let me just make sure workflow. I'll just recreate that. And we'll just paste that information. Okay. When it comes, it, it let's see if I can just do it without... And it's going to have me paste the line of it. That's okay. I'll paste the line. File URL. It's a CSV. And then we're going to paste this file in here, which should be right within our drive. Here it is. We're going to copy this guy right here. And all I'm doing is kind of copying this link. So let me grab that share link. Okay, and if you don't have this data, you can always reach out to me. Okay, so we're gonna copy this guy, copy. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is come on back here and we're gonna paste this guy. Parse file, sharing, ah ha ha, sorry. My apologies on this, let's try that again. I don't need the sharing folder, I just need the, this one, search here, get link, copy. Well, let's just do it with this guy. This this will make it easier. So we'll just do this. Um, get link. This one's huge. Okay, and then we're going to copy that link. We're going to paste it all up here. Okay, I think it'll work. It's still not working. Fun. Then we're just going to upload it. Okay. So here we go. We got this one. I'll just have this one downloaded. It should have a bunch of information on there. But I'm just going to download it. So I think this is all of the restaurants in Texas. So if you can take a look, there's a bunch of data in there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to push this back over. One of the things that we want to do is we want to um, continue. Let's upload this guy. Download. Restaurants. There we go. It's not letting me do that. Let's try it again. Restaurants. I love it that the system won't find the exact one that you need. Let's try that again. Restaurants. Insurance. These are banking practices. This is Texas. We're going to go keep it into this guy right here. It's still not finding, so we are just going to drag it to our home screen. If you can take a look, my system is now starting to bog down. Once you start using some of these things, it, I would recommend a secondary computer. That's, that's what I would recommend on this. It's not needed, but that's just what I would recommend. This way your secondary computer runs all of your bots. Okay, so let's jump here. Now we're gonna import this guy. Okay, so now it's imported. Now we get to say, well, what do we want? What's our main output of this? Okay, so now if we're in here, okay, we, let me just pull up this document really quick. Downloads, restaurants. Let me just pull this guy back up.
it's taking forever and this is fun i have the um the best mac that you can get <laughs> it is like well i guess maybe it's not the best but it, it's like uh I think just this computer is like a five thousand dollar computer. <laughs> it's supposed to be the best. That's why I got it, right? Um, but it's it's not all the case. It looks like it's it's still having its issues. Let me just close this thing down. Let's try that again. There we go. Cool. So the type of information that we have on there. Um, you can't see it on my screen. Maybe I can just share it on this other screen with you. So let me stop sharing. And then I'm just gonna reshare it on this lower screen. Okay, the information that we have, so we have the name, we have the address, we have the where it's at. This is all in Dallas. We have their phone numbers. We have most of their emails, right? But the things we don't have is we don't have the owner's name. So we have the Facebook, the Twitter, the Pinterest, the LinkedIn, the Instagram, the YouTube, Facebook marketing, if, they've, if they're doing marketing currently, if they have AdWords currently. So we have a bunch of data. So let's, let's just kind of start with this guy, okay? And we're just gonna copy all of this. And this, this gives us enough information to deal with. Um, so now when I'm coming here, database, okay? We can go and we can we can paste that information. Might take a second to paste. Okay. Once it pastes, we're going to go through. I'm going to change my screen. All right, and it should be pasting it soon. There we go. So now we have our company. We have our address. Right. So now what we can do is we can say, OK, there's an address, an address to city, region, zip, country and phone. We're missing some of these. Right. Let's say country all the way here. So we're going to copy that. Now we're going to jump into our prospects. OK. And now we're going to insert, insert to the right, insert to the right. Right. These specific things. Let me see how many we got. This is scrape data, it's not my data. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four. So I shouldn't be against any privacy policies or anything because this is not my data. Okay, <laughs> I wanna make sure I disclose that. <laughs> okay, so then we have our addresses, we have those things, okay? Then what we can do is at the end, Okay, so we have information, all the information and stuff that we need. If you take a look, keywords, traffic, we have kind of all of it. Then we're gonna jump to here and we'll just say, um, is data ready? So we can just say, um, ready for next step. We can say that or we can say ready for prospect. Like ready. There we go. So now we have enough information on these guys to do most anything, right? So the thing that we don't have is like, let's say it's contact. We have some of the contacts. So anytime there's an empty contact, we need to go and we need to get that information, right? Anytime there's an empty phone number, anytime there's an empty email, anytime there's an empty website, okay? We have to go see and see if they truly have a website, okay? See if they truly have some of these things. So how do we do this, okay? How do we do this on a grand scale, okay? This is, this is I mean, it's, it's as simple as either building automations to do it, right? Which they can cost, they can cost, right? Or having tools to do it. So let's take a look at the tools. So we have one of the tools, this one, it's an API connector. So let's, let's enable it. Let's do commission or Let's make sure that this one has permissions to do our APIs. Okay, so now that one has permissions to do our APIs. So this specific tool, it just connects um, APIs is really what it does. So you can now configure an API within this section to run versus anything else. So we offer that, refund, um, 
Huh. I already have this set up. Maybe I'll have to just reset it up again. I did a lifetime deal. This this one's found on AppSumo. <laughs> so you can find it just right there. Um, I'll, I'll double check that. But basically, you can set up your automation on here. And then what your automation can do is you can say, hey, automation, I want you to connect with another Google Sheet. Hey, I want you to do this. And you have, in a sense, unlimited zaps. And if you have unlimited zaps, you don't have to um, pay for anything. I, see, I have my baby. He, it sounds like he just woke up. Grandma was watching him. So I'll have to maybe I'll jump off and jump into another session. I, I like to do these things for on and off. Again, about three hours or so. So this way, if people have questions, we can dive in about three hours and then dive in. OK, but I'm, I'm showing you this right now so you can get the you can understand kind of the data points of how this stuff works. Right. And then if we take a look, this stuff can be converted. So any of this stuff, like if these are all um, locations, you can convert them and you can start marketing them and just say, hey, we have a free system for you. This is a free system. It's already built for you. It's ready to go, right? So however you want to do that, you can do that. Um, let me, sounds like he stopped, so we should be good to go. Okay. So lots of data. Again, when you're working on data online, sometimes it kicks you off a live streams. I'm going to just check really quick if that's the case. Um, no, looks like we're good to go, I, I believe. Let me, I'm just going to refresh it really quick. Because again, when you do a live stream, you, whenever you do data, if you do data, a lot of, a lot of times they detect that you're doing data. And then once they do, you're kind of, I wouldn't say screwed, but it's, it just stops working, right? So let me see if they stopped working. Okay, cool. We're we're up to date, so that's good. So I just wanted to make sure that um, it's actually working, so people can actually see this, because if you're not seeing this, then it it kind of becomes like worthless for me to keep on going through it. Okay. So this being said, so now we have some information. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going after these guys. Okay. So now, how do we do this? How do we get these guys over to a prospect? Okay. So right now, this is just raw data. Right, raw data. Okay, so now how do we get them over to a prospect? It's it's completing this data, so we need to know. Okay, what do we need to complete it? So I would say, the one thing that is is you would need to know contacts. So let's just come over here and let's do a conditional format. Okay, conditional format. In this conditional format, I'll say is empty, and if it is empty, we're going to put it as yellow. This way we can visually see it, okay? And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go like this, like that. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go like. So this way we can see that things are either done or not done, right? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize this so I can see it, okay? so. One of the things we didn't have is we didn't have the date, okay? So I'm not going to actually put the date because the dates will completely change over and over again um, based off of extra data. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. We're going to freeze one roll, okay? So that way that roll's frozen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to view, we're going to freeze another one, okay? But it's going to be a column. We're going to freeze one column. This way we have the name. This way we can come like this, right? See the data, see what's going on, and still have everything. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just because I don't need it that big. Okay, if it'll allow me to. <laughs> of course it doesn't. So let me unfreeze it really quick. So let me say freeze. Let me say um, no columns. Then I can come right here. There we go. And then I'll freeze it. Freeze one column. Okay, so now this is data. What do we need? So one of the things we're going to need is we're going to need touch points. How the heck do we talk to these people, right? If these people are owners, it looks like chef, chef spelled wrong, right? So we have some, some owners here. We have some chefs here, some franchise, a franchise consultant, right? Um, 
Okay, so I would say this. What else do we need? We have reviews. Some of them have ratings and reviews. So we're going to say, here's their contact information. Right, who here's if you're contacting them. So I would want to know if they're in business or not, just in case, right? We don't, we have no idea. So to the right, and I would just say in business. So I'll just say business status. Okay, I want to know this business status. Okay, business status. Okay, now what's the next thing that we need? We need to know um, business status, if they're in there, and then maybe size, business size. Okay. And this could be team size. So if we're, we're doing business sizes, let's say this is in team size. Team size is easy now to determine, okay? So now we have some information, right? This Pinterest is long. All of these are pretty long. Let's just make them not as long. Boom. Boom. But if you take a look, we have some information now to go after. So now if we're going to do a campaign, we just say, hey, if any of these guys, so like, let, let, let's, let's build one. So this way you, you understand the campaign. So what we're going to be doing is, so we need to clean this data and we need to, we need to create this as a prospect, right? So we, we only need to see if these guys are still in business. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see that really quick. This is going to use a lot of our, um, if we're using Zapier, it's going to use a lot of our zaps. Okay. If we're using something, it's, it's just going to use a lot of our stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up Al 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 Alborta. Alborta, I think it's called. Let's just, let's just double check. Uh, open. There we go. I think this is it. Let's just double check. Nope, doesn't look like it. So that being said, let me just jump into our portal. Portal is the easiest way to remember everything. Okay. So if I jump into my portal, let me jump in really quick. Okay. I'm into my dashboard. Now I'm in my dashboard. I'm just going to go to developers. And it is Albato. See how easy that was? <laughs> just jump into portal and it has everything in there, right? That's that's how easy it is to work with. Okay, we're gonna jump in here. And the reason that we're gonna jump in here is if I jump into the accounts, we have 150,000 interactions. So we might as well use them. That's on a daily base or on a monthly base, okay? So if you don't have this, you can use Pobly, you can use kind of anything, right? So now we need two, two ones that we're gonna be sending it to. So this one, we're gonna say, let's see if they even have it. Open, there we go. Amazing, okay, action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, get phrase completion, change the phrase. Uh, I don't know if this will, if they have enough pieces to make this thing work. It looks like they don't have integration into the specific one. If they don't, then I just, I'll have to change it. Um, we have that. What's going on with my other screen right here? Yeah, it's not letting me drag over, that's okay. I have multiple screens, so let's jump into here. So I'm going to go into Open AI, and you can build your own API on this. It is rather costly on the API usage for doing what I'm doing, right? But if you have these systems that are already there, it's no longer costly. You just let them use as they use, and then as soon as you get up to increasing and increasing and in increasing then you just increase, right? Then you just pay because you're already making money. So it's okay to pay. And then you just grow and grow and grow, right? Um, that being said, I'm gonna jump in here. Let me get G Funnel Business, um, create a new key. All right, T, copy this guy. Okay, I'm gonna hide this window for just a second so I can paste my token. Oh, it doesn't even show. It doesn't show. So here we go. Okay. And now we're just going to test it. Okay, so if this is it, we're going to add this action. Okay, and now it's just going to it's going to ask, well, what's our model ID? What are we using? We're going to use 
I think it's going to be um, a text Da Vinci, maybe. But let me just double check. We'll just do a text Da Vinci. We'll just do that one. Prompt phrase. So now this one is basically what are you going to do, right? So what we're going to do is, is, oops. This is system settings. I don't want this stuff. Suffix, max token that we can do. I don't need a lot of tokens on this one. Temperature, numbers of generations. This is just one. Okay. There we go. Prompting that we need is... is and then it'll be we'll put in the location id location name will end up coming here we'll just call it business name right business dot name we'll fill that in in just a second still in business still in business or is business name located at address Still on business. So I'm asking the AI, hey, is this is this business still there? Like, is this business still active, right? Instead of my VA having to go to the websites of each one, seeing the websites of each one and trying to then, if you take a look, it takes it, that takes a lot of time for every VA to go through that data. You might as well just have an AI do it. So now what we're doing is we're just plugging in a little bit of, uh, of AI, right? GPT-3, we're plugging a little bit of that in, right? And then what we're going to do is once we get the, the data above, so I'm just going to save this. Okay, once we get this data above, now we're just going to trigger it. So then this one we just say Google, Google Sheet. Okay, and we can say um, watch a specific cell. Okay, we can say that one. Um, I'll just do that, watch a specific cell. And then we can go, which, which one are we, we dealing with? We're dealing with um, profile. Let me update these guys. And then we're dealing with this guy right here, which is profile processor, okay? So profile processor, okay? And now we're in profile processor. Now, which sheet are we dealing with? We're dealing with the database sheet. Okay, so now we can say, watch the cell for, for cell changes and send it. I don't want to send it. I'm just going to do it for each one. Okay, so anytime there's a new role that is created, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that way it's every time new data is there, the system says, well, tell me if the business is good. If the business isn't good, then it's like there's not, you can't, you can't even push them down the next path. So this is the first one. Okay, database. Okay, add trigger. See how simple that is? Okay, so now it's gonna say real time, data migration, collect data from a specific period in the past. So we can do it real time and it's upload all account data. Okay, so you can do it at the exact same time. Okay, so then it's gonna find the fields, no additional information required. Okay, so it's gonna run, it's going to find that task, it's gonna implement in that task, and then we just need it to, to tell us basically what it's going to do. So then we're gonna go back to Google Sheet, right? We're gonna go back here, action, and we're just gonna say create dash upload new row, uh, a row by number. Um, this would be update a new row. Okay, and then what we'd do is we'd say profile. Okay, and then we're, we'd still be in data. Okay, so we are upload a row by number. Okay, so then we can do that. Okay, and now what number are we dealing with? We're dealing with this first number right here. Okay, 
Let's see if it just gives it into the very end. Roll number. Okay. And now what are we updating? We're updating this business size, business status, right? And if the result comes back, so you'll have a result. So now let's let's test the result. So first I'm going to say upload this to yes, just to, to do it, right? So now let's say this is my action. I don't care how if I create a new one each time, okay? But let's say this is my action, okay? So now let's grab one, okay? So now we test it to make sure it works. So now we're in here, right? And then we're just going to come into here. Tiki Tacos, okay? And then we're going to we're just going to push this information in so that way it's done correctly. Okay, so if I come in here, I can come into here and I edit it. Here's the business name. So then I'd put the business name right here. Just for now, we'll we'll change it, right? We'll change it in the in the bit. But just for now, just to test it is this guy and then at, and then we're gonna say, right here, so is that guy located at, where they located? All right, located at this, 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 copy. Okay, and then we can do it now like this. Let's jump back to Albato. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully. Like it takes a while, right? It takes a little bit to do. Um, but once you do it, it your system is, is complete. So located at that, 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 Elm Street, right? Dallas, Texas, right? So that's the information that would be added. Still in business. So let's save it. I want to run a test. Okay, so let's see if I can just test this guy really quick. Settings, save, and I'm going to just start kind of a test. Because I just want to see automation has started. Okay, and I'm just going to see if that's a test. Again, the same type of steps happen on like, um, uh, like Zapier. It's like the same exact thing. Okay. So then it'll test it, do, 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 do. Okay, let's see if I can test it better. Seems to be good, max tokens. So this max tokens I would do is, is probably three. Max tokens is yes, Y-E-S. Okay. Alrighty, let's just switch back to real time. And then we can name this one and we can name this one, it's database. Base, say still in business. Right? And then all you do is copy the same exact thing that you just built, just copy it and do it again, okay? So let's see if this will come on in. So this is my incoming filter. My, it looks like everything is working good on that. Okay. So now I'm gonna just test it really quick. So this thing is it's running, it says it's running. So now I'm just gonna test it to see if it actually does anything. Okay, there's still some data that I have to put in, but if you take a look, we have 2,000 records just in that specific location. Okay, we can now see if they're in business. We can see what category they're in, and then we can see how to market them. And take a look, just one area, we're marketing that many businesses. Okay, um, so there's that, boom, it's triggered, and El Bato. Okay, and then we should get some output here soon. It'll have an error on the output, but it should come here. See, and then I can create a group, and then on this group, we can call this group uh, uh, Profile Processor. 
and we'll call this one database. Uh, profile processor, this database. That's why we have that organized. Alrighty, but that's how simple it, like, it, it basically is, right? And you can use this for almost any, you don't have to use Elvato, you can use Pobly, you can use Zapier. Again, it takes some zaps. If you take a look, it's going to run through each one of these. That's 2,000, right? That's why I'm saying it's it's costly to do this. But if you create your own API here, API connector, it's no longer. But the goal is, is finding a route to get into this GP3 to ask it questions as if you're asking the VA questions, right? And then what ends up happening is it'll start fulfilling different things for you. It'll start fulfilling different prompts that you have, and then you could have all of these prompts start popping up on, let's say you don't have their social media account. It'll find if there's a social media account or not one created, right? Based off of names, it'll find the owner's names. It'll find basically anything and everything that you need. So that way it's like, perfect, I have that data. Let's go to the next step. Let's go to the next step. Let's go to the next step. And again, the goal is bring them to prospects, gain some information, bring them to leads, right? This is where they're getting interested. Bring them into locations. This way you have specific contacts, specific locations organized. Bring in their users. So this way you have specific users done. Bring in their clients. So that way it's it, you're getting all the clients. Now you're organizing all of that data. Okay. So that being said, this is just a quick um, data overview. And, and um, if it was useful, amazing, we can do, we can do a lot of these different ones. Um, but this is just showing you this. This system is just showing you this. So where this right here, let's say this, database, it's just a system. You can have scrapers, these scrapers connected to this guy, right? So all this data would be in a sense your database. You can have this connect to this guy, but it's multi, its ultimate goal is to push that down, 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 down. And this is how you build a foundation for your business that doesn't require yet the paid advertisement. So if you're not there yet, let's say you have time, but you don't have money. Let's just say that's where you're at. Um, this is where I would start. I would start with organizing your data, getting your data ready. That's where I would start. I wouldn't start the opposite way because you you have no money. So let's say you spend a thousand bucks or two thousand, three thousand bucks on marketing. Well, if you don't have any money, you don't have any money. You can't like you, you you'd get drained really quick. But if you have a way to push data through, when they get to this prospect phase, this prospect phase kicks them into a marketing campaign. Now you're retargeting them, even though it's it's new content, you're retargeting the specific leads that you need. They're seeing your specific ads. And now imagine, it's not just, hey, Facebook, reach some people. Here's my, my audiences. Here's this stuff. Let me try to get it down, narrow it down. You have the exact people that you're reaching out to. And you're telling Facebook, reach out to these people exactly. This is my Texas campaign. Or even more specifically, this is my Dallas campaign. Let's sell these guys. Do you don't, I mean, do you think your branding would dominate in that, that sector? I think so. <laughs> okay, but that's the quick live. I'm going to jump off for a bit. So I'm going to jump off for a bit and then I'm going to, um, yeah, go right back in. So hopefully this was informative and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then we'll, we'll be back since it is open session. So if you have any questions, leave them in the chat. If you have any, if you, if you found that this was at all beneficial, like at all beneficial, um, like, subscribe, share, right? That's why, I mean, that's, that's why we're here, right? I, I, like my first post, if you're, you're in the Perception Hackers group, if you're not, let me know. Um, my first post was, how do you let me subscribe? Would you, want, would you want to subscribe to me? Not just on a subscription base, like, oh, I pay camera money, not that. But do you want to subscribe to me? Meaning, do you want your systems created? Do you want me to walk through these processes? Let's walk through them. Ask, right? Ask and you shall receive. Simple. Seek, right? That's it. Knock and it shall be open. That's it. That's that's why the banner says what the banner says. 
So hopefully this was informative and awesome. I didn't get anyone to jump into this live session. I'm sure that maybe people jumped into the other sessions, but nobody is in this live room. I'm literally, I put a link there with a live room that you can link into. You can speak with me. You can talk to me about these things. And for me, if it, if it diverges off of this topic, that's okay. That's okay. That's what it's meant to do. It's live. It's a discussion. That's what it's meant, meant to do, right? So anyways, hopefully this was awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much.